Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, today I'm going to be testing some ink. Um, I wanted to do some illustrations and some artwork instead of uh, just inking a pen and uh, and writing with it. Um, so here I'm going to. I started to uh, make a drawing. Um, th th there's been quite a lot of inks uh, on the market and. Um, and it's really sometimes really hard to kind of showcase uh, the shade of ink uh, in a creative way um, especially when you're doing some fine handwriting you can't you, you can't really uh, tell the difference between one shade uh, of color to another um, not that I'm colorblind but uh, certainly um, it's it's hard to distinguish uh, two shades of uh, blue um, well, in this case, uh, actually, I have 40 sh uh, different shades of blue, and uh, what I found is that uh, <laughs> they all begin to look the same after a while, uh, which is why you need to do side side by side comparisons. Um, I think today I, I'll probably use uh, I'll try to um, showcase one ink rather than uh, uh, listing uh, 40 different inks side by side. Um, uh, uh, Normally, I, I, I try to kind of limit myself to inking the pens um, uh, to, you know, to five or ten pens and not 40 pens like I've mentioned in the last video that, um, that you know, when you have 40, I, I did have one time 40 uh, blue inks inked and um, I, I lost track. I lost track uh, what was in what. I mean, I did have an Excel sheet to uh, to map down. The, the date of inking uh, the brand and the specific uh, shade of blue uh, but over time it kind of just gets mixed up um, uh, you know uh, you, you you think uh, there was a certain shade of ink uh, in a certain pen and you're uh, pretty sure of it and you kind of uh, top up and then you think that then when you check on the excel sheet it wasn't quite right and then uh, you somehow there's a duplicate there, so it's um, so I, I don't really recommend uh, doing that many kind of shades uh, 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 at any one time, unless you're really just kind of doing a comparison, which then you're probably better off just to make some uh, swatches. So here I'm going to start to today. I'm going to use a, a KWZ ink. Uh, uh, it's called Honey. Uh, it's, it's, it's slight. Uh, a brown between brown and orangey color um, so I'm going to use that today I'm just going to dab some of this into a uh, and some some cotton buds uh, to kind of smear it over I think it's a lot easier than inking a fountain pen um, and then coloring this picture in I think it it's probably would probably take too long uh, so I'm going to try and fast forward a little bit here just to speed up maybe the video Let's see if we can speed up a little bit just to get this going uh, yeah so uh, I've been making these artworks for for quite some time now uh, maybe about uh, two to three years um, it's, it's certainly um, a, a different way of showing the ink. I've all, I also do ink blots, which I'll probably do in my next video. Uh, but certainly, it uh, uses a lot of ink uh, <laughs> quite quickly, and it it probably showcases the the ink a lot quick, uh, a lot better than you know actual kind of handwriting. And so, it I've also made the post on Instagram. So if you want to check out the Instagram for the the hyperlapse, so the it's it's. Uh, over 20 seconds to hyperlapse i think this video will be slightly longer because it's uh, uh almost in real time uh, i will try to skip out some of the um uh, some of the the, the coloring part but certainly um uh, i'm using this grid paper uh, to help me uh, with the guidelines for this drawing um, my drawing skills are not that great uh, but if you have some grid paper, it's fantastic. I mean, you can just map out um, pretty much everything and you kind of pretty much almost draw one square at a time. 
and uh, and this is what the, the technique I've used here uh, it's just to uh, keep everything into proportion and uh, also to uh, just to uh, uh, check uh, the, the balance um, uh, of the whole composition of the, the picture so I've, I've managed to use the grid I've drawn the outlines in pencil um, and then I've started to uh, dab the ink it's slightly darker here because I've had a, a kind of a fresh uh, fresh dip of the ink uh, but certainly the, the shading will uh, 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 will help sh uh, show um, the color depth of this um, KWZ ink. Um, I first met uh, KWZ, uh, the founders, uh, in, in the pen show, so they introduced me to this um, brand of ink. Uh, fairly in inexpensive ink, uh, I think it's a good value um, compared to the more expensive inks uh, like your Mont Blancs, but um, certainly. Um, uh, I, I I enjoy using the, the there's a full wide range. I have I, th I think I have uh, three to four bottles. I also have grass green, also by K KWZ. Um, but uh, I en enjoy using this um, brand of ink and to kind of show off in this uh, in an art form rather than just uh, handwriting. So it's, it's somewhat uh, slightly different, and uh, like I said, it probably just helps me empty the, the ink bottles. Uh, the the hundred ink bottles that I have, um, so I I will continue to make um, uh, pictures like this. Let me just see if I can fast forward a little bit more of this video. Oh, videos, videos, source. Okay, let me just. We'll start to draw the uh, some of the outline in now. Just to. Um, highlight some of the features of the of this drawing and then I will uh, kind of rub out the pencil lines just to showcase the picture or the color um, slightly more so using a fountain pen here um, I had a waterman in, uh, inked up already so I, I decided to use uh, the, the black ink from the waterman rather than just using a fine liner which I probably normally do so this is almost complete now. It's almost coming to the end. I'm just gonna clean off some of the excess pencil marks. Let's see if we can go a little bit further. Yep, just topping up on the uh, the white uh, empty squares where I've missed out, just to highlight that color even more, and then. Here it is, it's a final picture. You need to kind of stand far back uh, to look at the picture to see who it is. Uh, but uh, certainly check out the Instagram. Uh, there's a picture on the Instagram uh, that's been posted. Um, if you've uh, liked uh, what you've seen, drop a like. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Uh, it helps me uh, keep on making these uh, posts. And um, see you next time. Thank you for watching.